Hello Internet, this is Charles King. Today I'm going to go over file transferring and using WeTransfer. That's how I like to send a lot of my files to my clients when I have to send larger sized files. WeTransfer is a great online tool that should be used by anyone who does not have their own way of high volume file transfer to or from other people. Some of your clients may ask you to send them high resolution images and a lot of times they may not understand exactly what they're asking for. So before I even get on WeTransfer, I want to explain this, break this down again. Some of your clients may ask you to send them a high resolution image and not understand exactly what they're asking for. So I'd like to state again on this video, a high resolution image is one that has a maximum size your camera made. It does not mean high definition or better quality unless you are printing. Honestly, my web-sized images can probably be printed at a sub 8x10 size with no problem. If you're not printing, you do not need high resolution files. Web-sized is all you need to show or display on any type of computer, email, website. Period. But anyway, back to WeTransfer. If your clients still need a high resolution file, now is how we start talking about transferring it to them. WeTransfer is by far the easiest way I've seen to send files to your client. If you're sending high resolution files to your client, many people have an email that can support up to a 25 megabyte email attachment. Okay, let's put this in perspective. One of my high resolution images for my full frame camera is right there at 23.9 megabytes. So if it was slightly bigger, if it was a panorama, it would have more dynamic range, anything like that, I am already over what many people's email systems can hold. And if your email system is not at 25 megabytes, you might want to look at upgrading that because honestly, when 2004 here people, if your email service can't support 25 megabytes, then you're probably working on an outdated email system and honestly sending multiple emails saying like one of five or one of 10 oh my gosh, that's even worse. It's not the best business practice. It doesn't look professional. It will totally slow down your workflow. You run into issues where a client comes back to you, oh, an email two of five or something like that, then you have to check your email as opposed to you send them one link, they download and they say image 2205, you pull it up, that's it. WeTransfer is a whole easier way of doing this. And right now I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and open up your web browser. And I'm going to start with a, a web browser that is completely clean. By clean, I mean, I'm not signed into anything whatsoever. And we are going to go to wetransfer.com. And once it opens up, you'll see that you can have all these options here. Now we're gonna send files. I'm gonna get into how you receive files later on in this video, but to start to send a file, you do not need to even sign up. You don't need to put your name. You don't need to do anything. You simply go right here. You agree to the terms and conditions that you can read if you want to. I agree. And then you have options here. You can either put your client or friend's email in your email in a message, and it will even email it directly to them. The way I like to do it is I like to send them a link. So you click on this right here and you select link. Now what's going to happen is it's going to upload your files, generate a link, and then you will send that link as part of your email or instant message or anything to your client. They click on the link and it will download directly to their computer. It's that easy. But I'm going to go over it how you do it. So simply add files. I put my files right here on the desktop. We're going to go right over here to weed transfer tutorial. I have five files. These five files right now are about 92 megabytes. So that means that for each one of these, I would have to send somebody five emails to do that. Why don't I just click open, put them all right there, and then I am going to go right here and click transfer. Now it's gonna go through the transfer process and while I'm screen recording and using a hotspot off my cell phone, this might take a minute. So let's just take a break and come back once it's uploaded. Okay, we're back. The files have uploaded to WeTransfer and then it shows transfer complete. No issues, no errors. So right here, you now have a downloadable link. You can click on it. It's now even copied to your clipboard. They even made it that simple for you. And now at this moment, you literally will put this on your instant message or email and send it to a client. So again, I'm gonna close this window out. I'm gonna open up a new fresh window that I'm not signed into anything at all. And we're gonna put that same link that we just got. This is what your client will see. Okay, so you just got your WeTransfer link from somebody. He has files that he wants to show you. So this is what you end up with when you click on that link. Again, you have to agree to the terms and conditions if you're not signed in. That's easy. You agree, and then that's it. We're ready. There's five files right here, and all you have to do is just click download. Click. 
and now the files are being downloaded directly onto your computer. It is literally that simple. Once this download finishes, I'll even open it up and show you exactly how we just did a complete round trip from me sending it and receiving it the same way a client would. All right, the download is complete. I'm gonna double click on this and it is gonna open up in my download folder right here as this folder. It just unzipped because it is a zipped file. It unzips to the folder and then right there are all five of my images without any quality loss whatsoever, high resolution, ready to be printed with no problems at all. Again, this is a lot easier than sending emails, worrying about people's email servers not handling it, or even the email systems not working. You know that link works. You can send it via email, instant message, anything. You just give them the link and that's how easily they can download it. Again, this is Charles King. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and thanks again for watching.